cast your bread on the surface of the waters, and you will find it after many days. Divide your portion to seven, or even to eight, for you do not know what misfortune may occur on earth. If the clouds are full, they pour out rain upon the earth, and whether a tree falls toward the south or toward the north, wherever the tree falls, there it lies. He who watches the wind will not sow, and he who looks at the clouds will not reap. And just as you do not know the path of the wind and how bones are formed in the womb of the pregnant woman, so you do not know the activity of God who makes all things. Sow your seed in the morning, and do not be idle in the evening, for you do not know whether morning or evening sowing will succeed, or whether both of them alike will be good. Hey, good morning. This is uh, Pastor Steve Mapp here at Winfrey, and hey, thanks uh, for tuning in to our devotional on this Friday, November the 19th. It's so good to have you with us. Uh, so much enjoy uh, our devotional time with you. And this morning I was reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, a wisdom book uh, from the Old Testament. And I think the, the message to us is, is, is really, uh, well, it's, it's fascinating and it's so, so important. You know, what, uh, what the writer of Ecclesiastes is telling us, uh, God's Spirit has moved him to tell us that, that we need to spread out what we have and don't hold it only for ourselves to keep it within, but to cast it out, to take whatever we have and cast it out, throw it to others, give it to others. Because uh, you never know what God can do with that. He says, divide what you have six, seven, eight times uh, because you just don't know uh, all of the things that God can do with this. As I thought about that this morning, I was thinking about, you know, my own, my own giving, my own dividing, and, and uh, not only with, uh, with my time and, and whatever skills or abilities that, that God has given me, but, but with, uh, you know, with my treasury, if you will, with, with the things that I have. And I thought about uh, the pattern that I've developed that I think has been God's leading all along. Um, you know, first to give to my own church, to Winfrey, because those funds are used, uh, whatever I give is used for uh, our church community, certainly within the Winfrey uh, family, but in the community that's geographically where Winfrey is, in the community around us, we try really hard to uh, to make that happen and to take care of the folks in our family. But then I also got to thinking about um, how a portion of what uh, goes to my church is, is it goes to uh, it goes to missions around the world, either uh, in Africa or in Haiti and Mexico, all kinds of opportunities around this world um, to help God's people. And these are places I may never see, never touch. Uh, but I know God's at work there. Um, personally, I support, my wife and I support uh, a missionary um, over in Europe who is working so hard to help uh, women uh, who have been abused. Uh, it's a great ministry and we try to help there. Um, I give to a, a, a nonprofit that, that works with uh, children in third world countries for their health. And for, oh gosh, I guess 25 years or so, we've, uh, we've supported compassion and there have been four children separately in Africa that uh, we have provided funds for over the last 25 years so they could go to Christian school and, and learn God's word. And, and uh, as I thought about this passage from Ecclesiastes this morning, it's so, so true. God tells us, hey, don't sit idle. Don't, don't watch the wind. Uh, uh, and don't look at the clouds. Be active. Uh, even says, sow, sow your seed in the morning and in the evening. Don't be idle. What a great message for us this morning. You know, we, God gives us so much, and so much can be done with that when, when, when we cast it out uh, to others. This weekend at Winfrey, uh, we have two really wonderful events going on that, that speak to this passage uh, in particular. The first one is Rise Against Hunger, which is a, 
oh gosh, a, a worldwide mission to supply food to literally thousands, hundreds of thousands of starving people around the world. We gather here uh, for several hours on Saturday morning uh, and we pack these meals in boxes and we have a great time. We, we're playing music, we're beating drums. I mean, it's, uh, it's a hoot and, and, and so much good uh, comes from uh, what we're doing. So, hey, think about maybe coming over and joining us tomorrow morning, uh, Saturday at 10 a.m. for just a couple hours and, and, and let's see how many thousands of meals we can pack the second thing that we're doing, which I, I find is, is a wonderful opportunity, is on Sunday afternoon, Sunday afternoon in our ministry's activity center, we're going to have an old-fashioned hymn sing. Uh, we haven't done that here in a long time, and uh, our folks have always enjoyed coming together and singing the, the old traditional hymns. This time it's a little bit different in that uh, I've been blessed to be a part of a family uh uh, in Newport News, my cousins that are very musical uh, and uh, uh, part of a church community down there that just uh, cherishes uh, the sound of good, good music and and certainly the old hymns. And so they're coming up to Richmond tomorrow afternoon, or Sunday afternoon, to lead our hymn sing. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I really encourage you to come to that. But what's really cool about it is, is that we've made it an opportunity to help the Afghan children that are being evacuated here to our area. Um, we want to try to provide coats because the winter's coming, it's going to be cold. Um, and these children and these folks are not used to this climate. And so uh, we want to make sure that, that we can help them stay warm. And so we're asking people to, to bring a children's coat, a uh, new coat, uh, anywhere from toddler to teen, it doesn't matter, but bring a coat. and. And, and, and allow that to be uh, your entry into our hymn sing. Or uh, if you can't get a coat, well, we're going to have a love offering, uh, the funds of which totally will go to buying coats uh, for these kids. Should be a great time, this hymn sing at 4 o'clock on, on Sunday, and then our Rise Against Hunger on uh, sun Saturday morning. I, I hope that, that you'll consider being a part of one or both of those things. Um, cast your bread upon the water, God tells us because we never know uh, all of the good things that he can make happen from that. It's a part of our Christian calling, I think, to give of ourselves uh, in every way that we can uh, to help God's kingdom come here to our earth. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this morning on this devotional. Uh, I, it's always such a treat to, to come to you in this way. I hope that you have a, a great weekend. I hope that you're safe. Thanksgiving's coming. I hope that you're going to be able to find joy with your family and friends uh, around that feast. But for today, please know we're praying for you and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon.